Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody or X Code. How's it going today? The other day, if you guys watched Scarce's video, there's actually a tweet of mine on there. And basically, last Monday, I got into a car accident and I got. I, I tweeted this out. I just got into a car accident. Everyone was okay, thankfully, but that was fucking crazy. Um, and. Randomly, it was in Scarce's video, so I felt the need to make a story, life story commentary about this with some gameplay in the background. How's it going today? Hopefully you guys are having yourself a fantastic day. So this is actually the first car accident that I've ever been in. Um, I think I've been in like a few like just backed up into a car into a parking lot, some, some small shit like that when I was a kid. And there was this time where our car flipped over the Golden Gate Bridge and did a couple flips and landed into the water. But all jokes aside, it's not really a humorous topic when I think about it. But anyways, on Monday, I was driving down the road with me and two friends. It was one of those days where you didn't really have anything to do, and we were just going through the list of any ideas possible, what we were, what we were doing, because we had already smoked weed. That, that was already checked off on the list of things to do. We had already smoked, like, a big blunt, like, two hours before this, so we were already, like, we had already smoked weed, um, previous to this. We weren't really high during, like, when it happened, uh, we were actually all sober when it happened, surprisingly, but... So the first thing I, that I thought to do was actually go to this, like, uh, tobacco shop that's, like, kind of like a half-head shop, like, for pipes and bongs and stuff like that, and then they also have, like, uh, blunts, like, every blunt you could possibly imagine. One of my friends told me that they had every flavor of backwood, so I was like, I want to go there one day, but it's, like, a decent distance away from where I live. But we were conveniently around there, so I was like, yo, let's go get some backwoods. So we go in there, and they had, like pretty much every flavor. They didn't have the vanilla one. I've been trying to find that, but apparently it's super rare. But they had honey bourbon, so I ended up grabbing a few of those. And while we were in there, we were kind of looking at the glass and they decided that they wanted to go to a different head shop because the selection there wasn't nearly like anything at all. So we went back to the car and we started to head towards the direction of the other head shop. And as we're heading in the direction of the head shop, I took a picture of like the backwoods and the sesh hoodie to try to make like Instagram picture. It turned out pretty dope, but it got some pretty good feedback on Instagram. But as we're driving along, I, I remember posting it on Instagram, I'm kind of refreshing it a few times, just looking at the comments. I remember I like replied to a few comments. Um, and some time went by and then I was just on Snapchat, opening Snapchats. My two friends in the front seat were kind of having like their own conversation and I was just kind of on my phone, just chilling. And maybe after five or ten minutes, I'm not paying attention to what the car is doing at this point. This is when shit's about to go fucking down. I'm still looking at my phone, completely oblivious to anything that's about to happen. The car starts to pull up to this intersection that I guess is notorious in the area for just being really fucking dangerous because of just how, like, poorly made it was. And it's like a, a an intersection with a, a blinking yellow light. And as we're approaching it, I remember just looking at my phone, and then my friend said, said something, or he either, like, yelled or said, like, just like, what the fuck? Like, just like that. And I, I remember looking up. I saw this orange car just like halfway in the intersection. So my friend's slamming on the brakes to try to stop it. And this fucking orange car just keeps going, dude. It didn't stop. It just kept going. And it wasn't even going that fast. So we just slam into the back end of the car. Um, like the impact was pretty crazy, man. I was in the back seat without my seatbelt. My friend's airbag goes off. The fucking smoke's going all over the place. We skirt to a halt and the fucking smoke's filling the car, dude. It was like, horrible. I still have that like smell like and whenever I think about it I just have this fucking smell in my nose man. We halt to a stop my friends like what the fuck Everybody's just freaking the fuck out just so angry the person in the passenger seat starts crying and freaking out And my buddy that was driving gets out of the car and like I said the airbag was off There was like this smoke coming out of the car It wasn't smoke, but it was just the smoke from like the airbag and I remember like fucking I, I remember I said something over to the lady that hit us because she got out of the car bumpers like fucking hanging off the car I actually have it on my snapshot put it on screen right now I remember I was like, you fucking idiot. I was so pissed off, man, because I thought my friend was hurt, dude, because I'd never been into an accident. And I figured that maybe because the, the airbag went off that it would have fucking hit my friend's head and hit his neck or something. I don't know, just something crazy. I was just really concerned because his lip was bleeding and all that shit. But everybody was relatively fine, man. I was completely okay. So this other lady's car is just completely in the intersection. There's fucking broken glass all over the place, man. Her, like, back bumper is just hanging off the side of her car. So I grabbed my backpack, which had weed, a bowl. It was really bad. It had a bunch of stuff in it, man. I, I grabbed my backpack, and um, we ended up, like, walking to the side of the road, and we're just sitting there waiting for the cops. They showed up relatively quick, I gotta say, but we waited for the cops to show up, man. And as I'm sitting there, we're just, like, I'm talking to my friend, like, holy fucking shit. And we're pretty much right in front of this lady's house. She comes out and makes sure we're all right, and then this other guy's stops and says you know he witnessed everything that lady didn't stop at the stop sign just kept fucking going 
So it was completely her fault, man. So that means we were going down the road, going through an intersection. Someone just didn't stop at a stop sign and we didn't even have time to stop. So it was like, what the fuck are you doing, man? And I'm so, I'm so fucking thankful that none of us and her, the person that did it, wasn't hurt. It could have gone so much fucking worse, man. But the cops came, and the guy was actually kind of nice. I guess, you know, my friend and the other friend said that he was an asshole, but I I've seen police officers be a lot a lot m more mean to me, at least, and I've seen them. But the situation went pretty smoothly. We had to, you know, wait for a tow truck to come, and the ambulance people came and, like, made sure we were okay and everything. And I remember there was this one time where I was just kind of, like, sitting there, like, really, really bored. Like, not bored, just, like kind of really impatient to just leave because I had my backpack right next to me, um, which is a bunch of weed in a bowl and stuff and EMT right in front of me, cops all around. It was just like, I just really wanted to like get out of there. And I remember I was just like spacing out, just like thinking about, damn, this really fucking sucks. I was just like thinking to myself, like this really blows. And then this EMT comes up to me and she's like, you've been kind of quiet. Are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I remember I got sketched out because she, she kept like looking me right in the eyes and giving me this like soul stare, like, I know you're hiding something. What are you hiding? And I'm like, I'm not hiding anything. I tried giving this look back like, I'm, I'm straight. But out of out of this entire situation, I'm just glad my friends are okay. I'm, I'm glad nothing came out. I'm glad I'm not dead, dude. I'm glad the car didn't flip over or we died or something. Like, I'm just... That's, like, really, like, the only thing that kind of, like, was traumatizing about the whole thing, bro. The impact was pretty crazy. It's crazy. You could just wake up one day. It could be your last. It's pretty dark, but it's the fucking truth, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this bit of a crazy life story. I know I haven't had, like, one of these crazy, crazy life stories in a while. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like if you guys did. And have yourself a fantastic day. Let me know if you guys want to see any specific games for gameplay um, in the comments down below that you've seen me play or maybe some new games or something. I'm really, really looking forward to COD 4 Remastered, man. That, I feel like that's going to be a really, really great game. And if it's not, I mean, you know, like, rip $80. Fuck, man. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, I actually did, like, a Twitter question and answer along with, like, doing some CBD dabs, pure CBD dabs, which is really, really cool. I'll have a link in the description along with... I'm going to continue doing, like, a Twitter follow spree. Shortly after this video goes up, I'll go back and I'll follow a bunch of people that um, maybe didn't see it yesterday. I'll have that link in the top link in the description as well just go retweet that and i'll follow a bunch of people like i said before have yourself a fantastic day thanks for watching my video see you guys in tomorrow's video stay high stay lifted peace